Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make something that is sometimes called uh, a jar of sunshine. This is a lemon curd. It is citrusy, fruity, tangy, sweet and is a great addition to many cakes and pies in the British culinary scene, should I say. Today you're going to learn how to make this in really short, simple steps. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. For today's lemon curd, you will need the following ingredients in front of me. You will need some sugar, some eggs, some lemons, some butter, and to stay hydrated whilst you cook, I will always recommend a nice cup of hot tea. To start off, we're gonna do something that will enhance the flavor of this lemon curd. And to do that, we're going to blend sugar and the zest of this whole lemon. We've zested our lemons. I can tell you it smells amazing. The whole place now smells of this citrus, amazing zinginess, do I say. I'm going to blend this now and the sugar should turn to a nice pale yellow color. But importantly, we will have released a lot of the oils held in the skin of the lemon. And this is what is going to enhance the flavor of our lemon curd. The next thing to do is to juice our lemons. And so very simply, we're just gonna squeeze the juice out and then also pass the juice through a sieve to get rid of any of the pits and any of the fibers within the lemon. This is the last step just before we cook our lemon curd. So I've separated four egg yolks here and the egg whites, use them for something like an eaten mess. First, I'm going to pour in the citrus and sugar blend that we have here. I think I've said this already, but it does smell amazing. We're gonna whisk this together. Okay, it doesn't have to be completely dissolved and then gradually add in our lemon juice. We're gonna to continue to whisk now until all of the sugar is dissolved. Then we're ready to move over and start cooking our curd. The best way to cook a lemon curd is in a bain marie and that is what we've got prepared here. So above this will go our mixture and then continuously whisk until this mixture here, which is very runny, becomes really thick and silky and it'll be obvious to the eye. We're almost done now. This is thickening up nicely. Make sure that the water in your pot doesn't dry up. And the test that you can do to make sure that your lemon curd has been properly cooked is to do a simple back of spoon test. Now that we're done cooking our lemon curd, we're going to add in some butter, which will just enhance the texture and flavor of this final product. So we just mix that in, the butter will melt, and you will see a dramatic improvement in the texture of this lemon curd. Our butter's melted, and this has now just improved so much in texture, has become so much more silky and rich. And just one more check, you can see it still holds a line. I can tell you now that this, let me just go for a quick taste. Mm, cheeky taste, this tastes amazing. We're gonna pass this through a sieve now, and this will just get rid of anything that isn't smooth in texture. Now what we're going to do, while it is still hot and hasn't set, is pour it into a sterilized jar like this and allow it to cool completely. So let's taste the final product. What I'm expecting is something tangy, sweet, rich, thick. Yep. Mm. Ooh. The first hit you get is the, wow. That is delicious. It is very intense in lemon flavor. The zest that's gone into it, you can, taste that as well. No, it really, it's, it's almost like a lemon flavored custard and it's really refreshing as well. Afterwards, all that's left in your mouth is just fragrant lemon. No, this is, as you can see, very simple and easy to make. And I implore you now to go and get the ingredients and make this yourselves. Thank you so much for watching this episode till the end. You now know how to make lemon curd. This can of course be put on toast, but in the future, I'm going to show you what else this curd can be used for. Click the like button if you liked this episode, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time.